Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of HVAC Education Hub. In this episode, we will explain what is the pipe velocity and why it is important to have good design of hydraulic pipe system in our heating system. Ideal velocity is around one meter per second. So velocity in short means this is communication from our heat required to our emitters. If it is radiator or underfloor heating or fan coils. So ideal is to have this velocity around one meter per second. If we can too small pipe. So if our pipe is small, our velocity will be big and we will have noise in the system, big pressure drop, so friction, and we will, will spend more energy. However, if we have too big pipe, we, we will have uh, some dirt in pipes because our velocity will be too small. Also, we could have some air stuck in pipes, but generally bigger problem is too small diameter. How we know what is the I aim or what is the ideal diameter? We have guiding tables. In this table, we can see what is the pressure drop and what is the velocity for each pipe size. And our aim is to have this velocity around one meter per second. For example, we have nine kilowatts for heat pump. As we explained in previous video, this nine kilowatt, if we have delta T of five degrees, our flow rate is 0 0.42 kilogram per second. If we go in our table, we can see that for velocity of one meter per second, uh, our pipe for our nine kilowatt at delta T5 will be 28 millimeter. Uh, we need to say that this table is for copper pipes. So copper pipes, copper pipes has thinner, thinner uh, surface than plastic pipes. So if we want to go with this uh, flow rate and with this velocity on plastic pipes, we need to go one size bigger. So 35. For example, if we have plastic pipes, if we have the same nine kilowatt, but for Delta T20, as example, our gas condensing boiler and our velocity is 0 0.1 kilogram per second. We, we need to go with pipe diameter of 15 millimeters. So for heat pump, it's doubled. So it's 28. If we have bigger Delta T, we could go with lower pipe diameter. This is if you, if we want to have, to have our ideal velocity around one meter per second. Also, what is important, it is important to know that this is primary pipe sizing because this is from our heat, heat source to whole emitters. If we have few different sides, or few different pipe works in our house, we need to go with the same heat required, what is required for these this diameters. For example, if we have seven kilowatt unit from table, we need to go with copper pipe of 22 millimeters. And if we are going on the one side with three kilowatts, so we have three radiators of one kilowatt, for these three kilowatts, our flow rate is 0 0.14 kilogram per second. And for Delta T5, if we enter the table, we see that we can go with 15 millimeters. 15 millimeters for our three kilowatt radiators. Our last radiators in this, in this uh, side of our system is one kilowatt. And for one kilowatt, for delta T five degrees, our flow rate is 0 0.047 kilogram per seconds, and it is enough to go with 10 millimeters tide.
So in this example, we showed why it is important to have bigger pipes for lower delta T and what is, what is the best way to calculate it. However, our system will also work with smaller pipes, but we risk bigger noise, bigger friction loss, so pressure drop, and also bigger amount or bigger energy spending because we need to pump to pump on higher velocity. Thank you for watching the episode. Hit on subscribe button and see you in next episodes.